G'day, I'm Gavin from Hurley's Fly Fishing. We specialise in guided tours throughout Victoria, but we also take groups to Alaska, Chile, bone fishing Christmas Island, and our most popular one, New Zealand. So if that's where you want to go, come in and see us at our stores in Bentley and Lumsden. Now when it comes to uh, fly fishing and some of our gear can be a little expensive, you really need to protect it. There's a range of different um, luggage options from like your smallest little reel bag that'll hold a couple of reels and a couple of spools, you know, for your, um, your, your normal fishing trips, down to something perhaps a little bit bigger that um, is quite padded, so it's really going to protect all your gear, whether it be reels or flies, fly boxes, the whole sort of lot there. All the way up to when we do travel in a lot now where we go to New Zealand or Tasmania, you really need a good versatile bag. And this is terrific for putting in um, waders and boots with air vents so they're allowed to breathe. All the way down to having like the lower section which, which unzips that you can store your rods as you travel as well, obviously, which are a little bit longer. So uh, get the gear that's going to look after all your, your fishing gear really well and it's going to be there uh, when you need it every time. Oh, I don't know if you can see him just up here. Oh, he's just sticking his head out, but we've just hooked one just below that I've managed to keep down stream because there was a couple up here. And I'll just get him into the, the routine of rising again and then pop one of these with a hook in it ahead of him. Where is he? There he goes, right -o. Here he is. Just behind him, come across. Looks like a reasonable fish too, you can just see that. Get up there and eat it. Come on, mate. So, here he comes. And that had a hook in it too, mate. Sorry about that. That's beautiful. When you can see that whole head come out, that's why you go fly fishing. This is amazing. This is, I mean, new fishing, I, I agree, is much harder. But uh, dry fly fish is much prettier. This is incredible. That was beautiful. You can just you can see these fish in, in the, they they come up really dark brown just underneath the, the surface, and it's absolutely stunning. <laughs> just to hook that fish, you can just feel the weight in it. And this one's good, he's playing the game a little bit nicer than making me run all the way downstream. So just keep, there's a few big rocks over that side, so um, I like to keep that rod sort of high, that'll keep his head, I suppose, steer him round a little bit more and away from digging into those rocks. And if I put it on the side there, that might turn him away from getting down in these rapids. Come on, mate. Back the other way. Or it might not. I know where they want to go, and I. All right. We'll go down here. This is uh, why, I mean, we have to wear rubber soles in New Zealand and uh, the Matara is renowned for its slimy brown rocks late in the season. That's why we put studs on them. I'll be back in a minute. He's got a bit of a hurry on. All right, we've got him nearly. Nearly. Still got a little bit of go. Just, just big, powerful fish. If I can shorten this line, 
the shallow water and then we get him in there so that's uh that's good couple down the uh send you down the stream a bit beautiful just on a dry fly who says fishing's not fitness work there we go beautiful big old hard nut brown from uh, the Matara River been living on Duns all his life just this one had a hook in it beautiful fish beautiful good to go perfect they're not bad these fish they give you a run for a money down that's that, that uh, those rapids you know you're alive <laughs>